Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're going to start our part two of our Vegas trip. Mm -hmm. Where are we now? We're at Monami Gabby, uh, Leslie, my sister. Hey. <laughs> She's never been here for breakfast. And so we think, or at least I think, this is one of the best breakfast spots on the strip. I, I like it's it a lot. In mm -hmm. fact, I'm going to try something different this yeah, time. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you ready to eat? Ready. Trying something different. You have to try something different. And I believe someone had mentioned this to me was their corned beef hash. So I got their corned beef hash with their poached egg. Of course, everybody knows this egg corn here. Perfectly poached egg. Perfectly cooked as well. Let's get a little bit of the egg with this corned beef. Wow. This corned beef is amazing. Really? Succulent. What you what they do, you can tell. And they take the actual corned beef, put it in cubes, and then they fry it in a pan. So corned beef, it's crunchy. So it's better than the Libby's can, what you're saying, babe? Better than Libby's can. Our famous cheap corned beef that we like. I like it. This one's better. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm not really into a homemade corned beef, but this one's a really good one. So I'm trying something different as well. I got the ham and cheese omelet, but not just any regular ham and cheese. I had gyuray, gyuray cheese. <laughs> My French is a little rusty. Yeah. That's with, a bit. Uh, smoked ham, so check this out. The same cheese they put in our French onion soup. Yeah, I know you can't really tell in that shot, but yeah, it's definitely cheesy in there, so let's check it out. Mm. That is good. The eggs are so fluffy. And the ham and the cheese, perfect. How's your uh, three egg breakfast, Leslie? It's really good, and I love the bread. Oh yeah, this is a thick cut, right? Yeah, it's such a With the uh, bacon and sausage. Yes, uh-huh, and yeah, it's bacon. Yeah, it looks good. It's, it's very delicious so far, yeah. After I tried it last time, this goes with every breakfast. No matter what you're getting, you have to get a side of bacon. That's how a date thick. bacon, right? This is date glazed bacon. Look how thick it is. Edges are crunchy. Moist on the inside. And that saltiness you get from the bacon and the sweetness you get from the date makes this so savory. It's really good all those little when you bite in it all of those little fat morsels just pop in your mouth excellent i know it's just toast but it's pretty amazing toast it looks kind of dry and kind of looks like a scratch the roof of your mouth but it's so soft in the middle People were asking us about uh, Park MGM. Park MGM is still closed, and behind us is Italy, and Italy is still closed as well. Yeah. The, today is Tuesday, the 28th. Yes, still closed still as closed. of today. Yep. So, breakfast at the Monambi Gabby was always a win. Always excellent excellent yeah. the food is so good the service is always on point at least the times that we've been there which we've been there a lot so it's uh perfect breakfast. yeah even it's leslie loved her breakfast yeah, she did. yeah so now we are here in new york new york on a hot tip yeah. from turn it up world tanya yeah. and dave mm -hmm. at greenberg's, greenberg's day yeah for their hot pastrami sandwich yes. and Try uh nothing. yeah you know we, we've been to new york and had some cats mm -hmm. uh deli so we're excited to try this place out 
So uh, yeah, Let's go. ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, we got our hot pastrami sandwich with Swiss cheese and uh, we're gonna kind of build it the way we like it with the coleslaw so we had to get it on the side so we're gonna pile this coleslaw on okay there we go Oh, they also put mustard on the rye bread. They ask you what kind of bread you want and whether or not you want mayonnaise or mustard or just plain. Look how thick this is. You saw them cutting that big piece of pastrami on the meat slicer. So here we go. It's gonna be a big bite. is nicely thin shaven that coleslaw is nice and cold and crisp right amount of sweetness to it good ripe bread this is a deal i believe this is like half the price of cats <laughs> amazing that's what mine looks like looks really good doesn't it here we go good pastrami. That coleslaw with it really does the trick. It's a, it is cold and crisp, perfectly sweetened. Pastrami is not too peppery at all. With the Swiss cheese, it matches perfectly with this sandwich. Mm -hmm. That's the way we do. I took apart the sandwich. You'll see the cut pastrami with the Swiss cheese, the rye bread, and the mustard. Mm -hmm. Here's a little part of the pastrami with that coleslaw. That's how you eat a pastrami sandwich. You need the coleslaw. So, they give you a first, lot of meat, for sure. And the crispiness of the coleslaw along with this beautifully done pastrami. Get a little bit of coleslaw. And that's how you eat it. Right there. Mm -hmm. That's the bite. Wow. Armful. Yeah. That was a that was a very good sandwich it here was, at Greenberg Deli. It was very good price oh, yeah. for the sandwich too. It they is a lot of meat. Half the price of cats. It so is. You can't beat that. It is. Yeah. Um, comparing to Langers or Cats. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good sandwich, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah Langers, yeah. Langers on the West Coast and Cats on the East Coast, I think they kind of hold it down. For, they do. But for right in the middle, kind of in the middle of Las Vegas, this is a great sandwich. Uh, especially for the price. It's only like 13 bucks or something like that. Can't beat it. Yeah. Can't beat it at all. Especially for Vegas prices. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do now? Walk around? Uh, yeah, we're going to walk at, around. Look inside New York, New York. We haven't been here in like years. Actually walking inside. What do you think, babe? It's pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna try one out. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Yep. We have an apple pie one. We didn't even notice it. Just try that one too. Wanna to try it out, Auntie? You don't want any? She's kind of full. Switch it to the front cam. Looks good. Let's try it out. Yeah. Tastes like um those Andes. Andes, that's what it's called. Yeah. With the crunch. No, Andes have a crunch too. They have crispies in it. No, they don't. 
Yeah. It's only dark chocolate and mint. Another had crispies in it. I don't know what kind of energy you've been eating. Oh my gosh, the first slushy in two first weeks. Slushy in two weeks. Fires are open. Whoopee. Try it, baby. Oh. I don't know if there's alcohol in here. It doesn't taste like there is, but it's good. Which one is that? Dough whip? There's dough whip. It tastes actually just like a dough whip. It actually does. Alright, a little update. It's about 9 p.m. And what, what's the temperature? It really doesn't feel like 100. It doesn't feel like 100. Maybe we're getting used to it, babe. That's what I'm thinking yep. because it feels comfortable out here. Okay. And it's a little bit more busy during the week. It's yeah. kind of nice. Good morning, Good everybody. Good morning. We are back in downtown. We are. At the Cal. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're just waiting for one of the pizza places to open mm -hmm. to continue our square pizza shoot off. Mm -hmm. and, but we have a lot of eating today. I'm leaving. A lot of pizza. Off, off strip, and then we have some other stuff too. Yeah, but the main plan is to knock down a lot of pizza. Pizza for today. this one, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're just killing some time? We are. I hope you win. Me too. What happened, babe? I ran out of credits. I ran out of money. Alright. Oh, well. Next time. Next. So since we're in downtown, we decided to stop by the Grand. We've never been in this one. It's a really cute. It's a really cute casino. Yeah, nice and clean. Yeah, really nice. I like... I'll show you the ceilings. It's kind of neat. It's just almost like a warehouse. It's kind of cool. Yeah. So we finally made it to 168 Market. Market. Yep, uh, some people, I know some of our viewers told us to come here. We're gonna try the uh, Chinese egg tart, that's what was recommended, but they have a lot of other food here, so we're gonna go look around. Yeah, this was a highly recommended place, yeah. and we finally made it. We finally are here. Yep. They have dim sum here, look it. Yeah, it looks wow. pretty good, huh? And they even have uh, the roast uh, meat over there. Yeah, the roast duck and everything. Okay, we got our Chinese slash Portuguese egg tarts. Uh -huh. We're doing an in-car review because it's like 110 degrees yeah, outside. Exactly. And um, this is highly recommended by a lot of our viewers to come to 168 Market and to grab these egg tarts. So we're going to try it out. You can tell it's really nice and crusty. Oh, flaky. I'm going to eat over my little, my little tin lid. here. Nope, I got my tin. Here we go. Mmm, crunchy. It's custardy, but not too eggy. A little hint of sweetness. The, the shell is really good. The shell is really good. There's the custard here. It's actually a really light dessert. If you want to like a little snacky or a light dessert, these egg tarts are really good. Yeah, you can tell it's very eggy, kind of custardy a little bit. It's a good taste. It's good. A hint of sweetness, not very eggy at all. It probably goes toward more of the custard side. I'm glad we got four of them. Here we are at another off the strip location mm -hmm. for dinner. We had a lot of recommendations for this place too. What's it called? Babe? Orchid Gardens. Yes, they yeah. have dim sum all, all day. All day dim sum. So that's going to be our lunch today. It's going to be yummy. Our, our lunch, our dinner today. Early dinner. Uh, yeah. Early dinner. Uh -huh. And we have Leslie too. Yep. She's over there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get dim sum and we're hungry. Yeah, let's go eat. So 
So that's the eggplant, and what is this one called? This is sticky rice. It's called sticky rice. This is the chashu bao. So this is the barbecue, Chinese barbecue pork bao, and the rib with black bean. Oh yeah, this is your favorite right that's there. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. All right, and we got so some more that. stuff coming. And we have more stuff. So this is the steamed barbecue pork bun. Oh, look how juicy that looks. Oh, wow. Holy moly. Yeah. Look at that. That's really good. Yeah. It's perfect. Perfect amount of sweetness. The pork in there is very moist. It's just the right size where you won't fill up on it. Chinese dong. That's, it's called dong. Uh, here they call it sticky rice. Has pieces of pork in there. You can tell it has a really good sauce. It has some shiitake mushrooms. It has Chinese sausage, lump chung. This is lump chung, Chinese sausage. I'm gonna try a little bit of this. Don't think it would need a sauce because it is already like marinated in its own sauce. It's a very Mm. I guess you can say Chinese sauce. It's not like an oyster sauce or anything like that. This really good, really good sauce that you would get like in a stir fry. Roast duck. Let's try out this duck right here. You can see it's nice roast. Meaty, listening, all that goodness right there. Good country roast duck. I'm gonna give you the sauce on the side, but it doesn't make that sauce. The skin is nice and crispy. The duck is super moist. Oh, I have to tell you, I was just gonna go eat it. This is the pork rib in black bean sauce. You know, when I visit any Chinese dim sum place, I always get this one. Very tender. Good black bean taste. I know. So we got us. A steam chicken, it's served cold. That's what it usually is for the steam chicken. That's right here. This is a piece. I'm gonna take off the meat on this piece. So what you do is you just take off the meat and the skin, dip it in this, it's an oil, green onion, and ginger. A little dipping. You can put it on top of the chicken too, but I like to dip it. And I have my rice here. Here we go. Mm. That's a taste of home right there. Look, little baby egg tarts. Where is its mama? Yeah. <laughs> Even though we just went to 168 Market, you know we got to try them no matter where we go. So these are a little bite size. Looks really flaky. Surprisingly, very good. Wow, maybe these came right out of the oven or something, but they're delicious. You guys gotta try it out. You get you sound so shocked. Yeah, a little wrap up of Orchid's Garden. That was really good. Yeah, Thank I, you so I much for the re recommendation, huh, babe? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, if you guys know of any other place here in Chinatown, uh, yeah. let us know. Mm -hmm. This is off of Sahara. I'm used to stuff on uh, Spring Mountain being like Chinatown. Mm -hmm. This one's off of Sahara. It's a really good place. A big, big place they have their own parking and everything yeah mm -hmm. like polite staff yeah really nice yeah and what do we do next well i think we're just gonna go cruise around uh, we have tonight still the yep. sun's still up so yep and it's still warm yeah, yeah. Hey. so we got to harris uh -huh. now uh we got our last uh piece of uh square pie yes we did yeah, to complete our shootout. Yeah, so, uh, that'll be uh, going up later. Yeah, so be sure to check that one out. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. So since we're at Pizza Cake, that's where we got the pizza mm -hmm. from, we had to try that chocolate cake. Yeah. Uh, remember last time we got the rainbow, rainbow one? That There's a kind vanilla. Of, yeah, vanilla one, right? Yeah. So I was eyeballing that chocolate one, so we had to do it. We did it. I got it. Check mm -hmm. this out. Look at that. That is some chocolate goodness right here. I'm not a huge chocolate guy, but I'm looking forward to this one. The way my fork cuts through it, it feels pretty dense. Look at that. Right there. I like 
like this one more than the rainbow one. Mm. A little bit more on the dark chocolate side. Very good. Not extremely sweet at all. And it's not dense, even though it looks kind of dense. Kind of hard to cut through. Kind of. The chocolate portion cake tastes kind of devil food. You know how devil food cake is, um, chocolate devil food cake is very light. That's what it actually tastes like, even though it, it looks kind of dense as you cut through it. That's a really good chocolate cake. That frosting isn't as sweet as a frosting could be at all. Yeah, we're gonna close things off on part two of our Vegas yeah, adventures. We're hoping there were all three days would squish into this part two. Yeah, but we have a much. lot of go lot of stuff, lot of stuff we're doing tomorrow. Yeah. Um from meals to just going to look around and things like that, which we know you guys are gonna enjoy. So we're gonna close this one out. Yes, yeah, so tomorrow, uh Thursday is our last full day. Yeah, it is. And then we're off back home Friday morning. Yeah. And yeah. uh don't know when we're coming back. Yeah, we that, shall see because he starts work. Sure. Yeah. Don't know when I start work. Hopefully, uh, sometime in August. So we'll see what happens. But you know us, we love Vegas. We'll yeah. be back. And right? we're, we are also missing traveling. I mean, we love Vegas, but we love traveling, and we're just waiting for everything to open so we can travel around. Right. So that's a wrap for yep. part two, and we'll catch you guys on part three. One more thing yeah. before we leave. We want to thank Shout outs. everyone who came up and said hi to us. You guys are making us feel like celebrities. We're really not, you know. No. Nope. It's nope. kind of weird. <laughs> okay, we really wanna, appreciate it. Yes. We want to thank Hazel and her father Norman from Perth, Scotland. Thank you for uh, messaging me. Uh, thank you, Thomas, who watches to the end of all of our videos. That's yeah, pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't know who really does that. Jack, Jack in Florida. Yes, I'm Jack. I'm glad you're hearing that you're hopefully getting better soon and you'll we'll come visit Vegas. Yes, we, we love missed you. Yeah, we yeah. missed you. We always look forward to your comments. Yes, we do. You're the one straight up shooter guy. Yeah, time. you are. Appreciate that. You are. Uh, Florina, we saw you at New York, New York. Thank you for saying yes. hi. Elva and Terry Collinsworth. Happy belated birthday, guys. Yes, happy birthday. Uh, Verna at the Flamingo. Have fun on your cruise. Yes. Uh, Adar, we saw her across the Valley's Bridge. Thank you for shouting out and saying hi to yes. us. Amy and Brad, we saw them at the link. Yes. Yep. Anne and Robert at Harrah's. I hope you like the Lagos. They're going to Lago tonight. And so right. and they have a perfect view. Yeah. Hope you got a good view. Hope, hope you, you guys enjoy really your enjoyed dinner. Yeah, enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, Gina and Courtney, um, the, you guys are going on a helicopter ride uh, yesterday. So That's right. hopefully that was enjoyable. I, I've been on one a while ago. It was so much fun. Yes. And Eric from North Carolina, we just saw you at Pizza Cake. Thank you That's so much right. for saying hi. He brought his wife this time. He says he usually doesn't, but he brought his wife this he time. He did, he did. Yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for saying, saying hi to us. Hi to us. So really if you guys see it. us, yep, come and say hi to us. We're we're pretty friendly. We won't bite. At least on the first visit, we won't. Uh, we won't bite. We have our mask on. Right? Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. we can't. All righty. Well, thank you so much, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.